What's up guys? My name is Stanley Orchard and it is finally summer in South Texas. Now I have a very short video for you guys today. Three topics I want to discuss regarding summertime fishing in South Texas. So let's get to it. It is summertime in South Texas, which is not the best time to be fishing down here. Unfortunately, it's when all the weekend warriors get out. The main reason that it's not a good time of year to be fishing down here is that the weather is just really not that great for it. We have prevailing 15 to 20 mile an hour winds all summer long blowing on shore. We need to be geared up and ready for that opportunity of there may be a weather window for a day or two here or there where we can just skip out to the beach and maybe catch some fish. I've been collecting a few things off of Amazon the last couple of weeks and I've been waiting to get it all together in order to do a tackle unboxing with you guys and I finally got everything that I need here. Now, just before we start unboxing all of this stuff, I want you guys to know if there's anything here that you like, you want to get your hands on, this is all things that I've purchased on Amazon. A while back I set up a list for myself to make my own purchases for my tackle box of things that I was getting year after year. I'll give you guys access to that in the description down below. You can just click on the link there. Understand, I am an Amazon affiliate, so I do get a cut of any of the purchases that you make. I didn't set this all up just to sell products and stuff. That is actually a list that I've been using. It's actually the list that I used to purchase all of these products that I've got in front of you guys here today. I just wanted to show you what I'm using. Later on in future videos, I'll show you why we're using it. I've got a special project that I'm working on for a video that we're gonna do later this summer. I have the items for that purchase today. We're gonna open them up. I'll let you guys get a little sneak peek and something we're gonna do. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know, but we're about to find out and I'll show you guys what I got. Now, on to the unboxing. Let's see what we've got. I've been waiting for weeks to open this thing up. I can't believe I'm finally getting an opportunity to get this on video. I've had this thing forever. And because of other videos that we've been working on and everything else that's been going on, I just have not had a chance to open it. Fortunately, the bag that I'm going to open up here in a minute has been sitting around even longer. It was not an Amazon purchase, but we'll get to that one. A little more excited about that bag. Now, Amazon. This is fun. <laughs> I'm really excited about this one. I know it's stupid. I make this exact same purchase every single year. I get equally as excited about it every single time. We'll take some tests with the different brands that I've picked up. But you go to Walmart and pick up line. I do the same thing. I do it all the time. And uh, it's a little hard to get the line that we need for some of the fishing that we do. In particular, 80 pound test mono. I cannot find it over there. So I've got Sea Striker Mono off of Amazon. It was about the cheapest one I could find. We'll see how that works this summer. A couple of the other monos that I got here, just your regular Stren high impact monofilament. I've got some 50 pound test. Now I've got another cheap thing, a 30 pound Zebco test there. This is the most awesome part. Nine knot circle hooks. I will probably tear through this entire damn box this year. These are demon perfect circle, three times as strong with the uh, with the uh, bronze coating, something like copper coating, whatever it is. I don't know. They look sick, especially when they are sticking out of the mouth of that big ass shark that you just pulled up on the beach. Or actually, we also use them for snapper offshore. These are a little bit on the bigger side. But I plan on going big this year, so this is what we need. You're going to see me using these every single fishing trip for the remainder of the year. Berkeley Gulf. These are the swimming mullet, the chartreuse. I have never used these in my life. I've also not caught many flounder, and the ones that I've caught I didn't catch on rod and reel. Uh, so I'm going to take a shot at it. I know that they're there. I've seen some of these other guys. Um, We'll mention names later on, but I'm sure that you're familiar with some of them. They have a lot of success with these. So I'm going to take a shot at it, see if we can't get some flat boys in the box this year. Got here Eagle Claw Barrel Swivels. The various things that we're fishing for. I'll have them all preset so that I can just hook them onto the leader with this. I do want to show you guys this uh, project that I'm working on. Now later this summer, I've got a camping trip planned if we can work it out where I plan on spending several days camping out somewhere on the beach. For that project, one of the problems that I have had is putting out a really big rod for a really big fish. So, well, now the problem that I have is that one of those rods, we go big. I'm gonna have something out for big sharks. But I've had problems in the past several times. Now I've had a piece of PVC pipe with my rod in it, and that thing has almost been pulled over. I've almost lost my rod 
with that whole thing getting pulled right out of the ground. So I don't have faith in those PVC pipes just sticking out of the ground for bigger fish. I've been trying to figure out a way to get around that issue with the PVC pipe and I came across what I think is the coolest thing in the world. This is a project we're going to be working on. You're going to see it in action when we do our camping trip out on Padre Island. I have two different versions of this. These are Shoreline Marine clamp-on rod holders. And the cool thing about these, they're meant for boats. You're supposed to be able to clamp this thing onto the side of your John boat so that you have a holder for your rod you can sit into place. Well, I'm not going to be using a boat for this trip, but I needed something good for my truck for when we're out at the beach. So I'm going to figure out a way to mount these onto the truck. And if I have to drill a hole into the top of the bed and just mount that thing down in there, I'm going to do it. I look at a bunch of different options. I'm trying to find a good rod mount to hold the rod while I'm out there fishing, and I came across nothing under the course of $50. These guys you can find on Amazon. They cost like $10 or $12 a piece. Again, that will be included in the link to my Amazon affiliate site here down below. Now, this guy's a little bit different ballgame. This was a gift from my brother Luke over Christmas. I haven't had an opportunity to open this up yet, buddy. I'm sorry about that. Weather hasn't been great down here, and I haven't been doing a lot of stuff with lures, but I want you to know I very much appreciate it, and we're going to be using this stuff a lot over the course of the summer, later in the summer when the fishing season opens up. Luke, you're so awesome for doing this, man. I've been waiting to do this since Christmas. First off, we got my Rapala, a couple of jigging wraps. I've never used one of these. I don't even know how to do it. But I'm going to figure that out. It looks as though they got, this is cool, they got a tiny little treble here. It looks like a lot of fun. That might be good for trout. Maybe do trout a little different than some of these other guys. This is one that I'm really excited about. Stingnose Minners. We have a quarter ounce and a three sixteenths ounce. Now these things look like tiny little mullet. They've got the small little hooks on them too, the little treble hooks. I'm really excited about these because we see a lot of Spanish mackerel out around the uh, jetties and I'm assuming that on smaller days these are going to work really well with them when there's a bunch of little minnows out there. They also might work real well with trout in the surf. I'm just not sure. Like I said, we've never used these. This was kind of a fun little experiment we're going to be playing with. But this is one, I mean silver spoons, silver lures, they always work well no matter what. So I just assume this is going to be another great addition to the tackle box. Also along those same lines, we have a couple of spoons. This is the this is the Castaway Trophy Pack. We've got a couple silver spoons and one silver blue spoon, quarter ounce. These are from South Bend. According to the pro tips, when retrieved, spoons have an irresistible wobbling action. Count down one second for uh, directions. Who does those? Oh, that's a gold spoon, a silver spoon and a silver blue. I thought they were both silver. Anyway, you can never have enough of these. You catch a lot of fish with these. I know, I know. They're small hooks. Somebody out there is going to be like, nah, you can't catch a king with that. Oh yeah, watch me. I'll catch a king. This is a Rapala HJ6. I don't know the first thing about that, but I do know that tiny little lures like this are hard to come by and there are fish that will go after them. Again, it's going to be a fun one to play with. This, I do not know the first thing about. If you guys have any suggestions on this, please let me know in the comments down below because I've never used a long casting Lancer long... Oh, that's the French. Why is it not in Spanish? This is South Texas. Anyway, this is a 5 Rex, I guess that's eight, 1 8th of an ounce bullet long casting. I know the purpose of this, these things jitter around a whole lot and that catches the fish eye. Same with the tail on there. I understand the mechanics of it. I've just never used a lure like this. But again, this isn't about doing what we know. This is about having fun with the things that we got, things that we're experimenting with. So let's see what happens with that. All right, and finally, this was not a purchase, but this was a really cool addition to the tackle box. And not my tackle box, as you guys have seen along the way. Rachel has proven herself to be a very exceptional fisher person in her own right. Now what he's got for her first, this is a St. Croix eight foot six bamboo fishing pole. Now normally this is for fresh water setups, but we're gonna put it in the salt water and run this thing through the ringer. She is going to get some good fish with this. I am personally guaranteeing it. 
Now, the more exciting part of this, the part that I'm really excited about, I took this whole thing apart and cleaned it and greased it and everything else, is this Pen Pier 4 Rot. That is my absolute favorite reel. I have a Pen International that I use. I love it to death. Now, to get her all ready and set up for this, I've got about 300 yards of 65 pound braid lined onto that reel. In fact, with about 200 yards of 50 pound mono. Now, I would have taken that up to 80. I don't think that the pole would be able to handle anything that you would put on 50 pound test, let alone 80. So the 50 pound test is going to do just fine. She's gonna catch some reds. She's gonna catch some good stuff with this rod. If we get her offshore, she's gonna be hooking into some ling and kingfish with this guy. Anyway, these are the guys that you're gonna be seeing us using over the course of the next summer. And all of this cool gear that we picked up today is going to be on the forefront of everything that we do. All right guys, that's about all I got for you here today. I appreciate you sticking with me on that whole deal. I've been waiting for weeks to get all of that stuff unpacked and on the video so that I can finally get it all packed away in the tackle box and out into open water. Thank you again for watching. If you guys have any suggestions on those lures, some things that I can do with them, things that I need to be looking for, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to know your thoughts on that because this is all kind of new to me. Those tiny lures, that's a different thing. Normally we go big. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for tuning in, watching all these videos. This channel is going places right now that I didn't think it would be going. And I want to thank you guys for all of that. I really appreciate all of your support. Um... I wish that you guys had a like button that I could give to you because you guys all deserve it. Thank you very much. Anyway, stay tuned, man. We're going to have some good fishing this summer, especially later this summer when the fishing gets good. And let's see what we can make out of this summer in the next couple of weeks. Happy fishing, guys. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.